a slash command for a slap. What do the five fingers say to the face? Slap! The goal of this video is to cover how to add a slap custom command. For this, it's a pretty funny one. We're gonna do slash slap. And the way that you can execute it is by including slash slap, and then you do at someone. Um, so in this case, odog. And then if you don't add anything at the end, it will just add the uh, hand or the slap. It's technically a wave emoji. Um, or you can do slash slap at, at someone and then you can add an emoji of your choice. Right now the bot actually returns a phrase at the end. So like you'll see here, now go back to work. The most important part of this is Firestore Cloud Functions. We're gonna write an API that we can utilize from Slack and its configurations to call out and it'll have a bot that will bring these messages back. So let's dive into the code. As you can see here in the index.js file, this is the main file that we'll execute in our cloud function. What we've set up is an express uh, application that pulls in a post and grabs all of the parameters for it. There's a couple things going on here where we split out the message so that we can pull one of those emojis off um, if they're sent in. The other uh, key here is that the callback token is pulled off the query parameters. So you'll have that uh, callback question, or sorry, question mark callback equals, and then that big string that will go through in the lesson. Um, at this point, the send part of this is probably a little more important. So it builds out that bot payload, and when that's sent, it actually sends it into the uh, Slack service as a hook. So we're gonna walk through in the next section how to set up all of those web hooks and you'll see why that configuration is important. So let's jump in a little bit here to the helpers file. The only function that's really um, matters here is this get random banter function. What it's gonna do is allow us to take this array and it'll just randomly select something that gets slapped on the end of each of those banter lines as they're coming back into Slack. How you actually set up some of these apps. In order to set up the webhook coming in, you need to do uh, incoming webhooks. And then you could start to begin setting this up. We actually have ours already, so I'm just gonna walk through it. If I go to the edit command, it's the same as if you do add configuration. So here are the setup instructions and things like that. Really all we're looking for is you're gonna pick general or any other channel you want. We actually send the message back to where it originated so that really doesn't matter that much. The, the webhook URL is the important part that we're gonna need. After the services piece, this is the key that you're gonna copy. If you want a descriptive label, you can place that in there or anything else to customize this, but really it's that key that's gonna be important. So once your webhook command is all complete, you can go to the search bar and find the slash commands. Again, we've, we've got our setup, but it's essentially the same. You click add configuration. We'll take a look at ours down here. So what's important here is we're gonna use this slash slap that's the first key. The other key is where we sent the Firebase uh, cloud function out to. So that's going to be the second part of that. We also need to add this parameter. So it's question mark callback equals and then place your uh, parameter from the webhook back in here. It's going to be a post method. Um, your token should already be in there. I should probably regenerate mine at this point with uh, <laughs> all of these videos, but no biggie there. So you can customize the name or any of the icons that come out as well. That should take care of our integration at that time. So once you get that complete, what you can do is go out and check how this is actually running. So if I pop open Firebase, I can dive into my project, which is HMP Slack Slab. And we should see our function once this is de deployed. So we have ours deployed already out here, but I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick like. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, so if I bring back VS Code again, and I just pop in the command toolbar, you'll see I've already deployed it a bunch of times. So let's clear that once, just to not be confusing. 
At this point, we've already done our Firebase init. If you have a hard time with that, we have it in the lesson. So just go to the link in the YouTube channel um, or in the YouTube description rather. After that initialization is done, you're gonna have a Firebase RC file and a Firebase.json file that points out to your project. And at that time, now we can do Firebase deploy. And if you have other hosting or anything else like that, you might want to do dash dash only equals deploy. So that, or sorry, only functions deploy. So that way only your functions are deployed at that time. But what I wanted to show here was once that functions out here in your functions file, if you go to view logs, you can start to see this um, be deployed. So at 406, 405-ish, we came in and started deploying some things. The next piece that we wanna do is an actual example of this. So we'll do a little Oliver uh, O-Dog one here again. So uh, slash slap. So there's your new slap command coming up. We'll do at O-Dog. And then we'll just do that one for now and see what happens. So you'll see how it came through we should also see here in a second, the logs get a little delayed as they're asynchronous, but you'll see this call come through um, with the payload and everything. So let's do one more. Let's do, I don't know, let's do a parrot. Oh, got parrot. So you see it pop through. Your Trello card is lame. So it's, it's this stuff that we'll probably do another video on and do some machine learning. Um, just have some fun with it. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to set up some Slack custom commands. There's your function going through. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Now check out some sweet B-roll we made. Welcome back to AGM Perfect Solutions. Got a special guest with me, my son Oliver today. Hey everybody. Uh, we ended up getting a request from at Chouse out on the channel to add this slash slap command. He's a good buddy of mine, so I thought we would try and do some research on it. And today we've been messing around with uh, creating a nice little solution for everyone. So we're gonna add a lesson out there on how to do this. And in the meantime, we'll take a little walkthrough and show you what we came up with. What do you think of it so far? I think it's a very nice command except for the part where the computer will make up an extra comment along with it. Yeah, but that's the uh, bot banter. So we're probably gonna add a Firestore backend at the, after this video, probably in a, another section where we can add our own commands. For now, there's kind of a set base from the original repo. So let's hit it. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and click that subscribe button. We plan on doing one a week.